Hello, my dear friends. You do recognize what's going on here? As usual, I'm sitting here in my kitchen, sipping the tea and eating some biscuits. Very nice. And did you? No? But with all of us, we have different pets. Yes, indeed, pets. And all these pets and toys there around of me, here in this kitchen. And by the way, what's about toys? Yeah, toys were all here. These toys from different places, the Nive Poo, even these guys from Japan and England. Yes, one was fall down. This one, or maybe this one from Ukraine. These are toys. And this is also the toy, but this is also the pad. The big pet indeed, and my assistant for today. But why this pet is here? Well, in kitchen, all pets they are looking for food, indeed, and this pet like food as well. Do you like food? He is afraid a little bit. No, but still, he likes it very much because that's a cheese, indeed. But in a the kitchen, there are not only toys, like this one and this one, but there are some pets, and some pets not so big like this one. You think this is a big one? I guess very big and very happy for now. Yes, looking for another piece of cheese, and if please, you are welcome. But what's about another toys and another pets? Well, all these pets, they are living, by the way, in a kitchen. And who are these pets? These pets, they're unpleasant pets. If this one is very pleasant, very careful, and likes you, another pet, they're pests, by the way and they are eating something in your kitchen. And how do they do it? Well, they are searching like this guy for food and all of them are very small. And who are them? They are different arthropods. Most of them were insects. Some of them, or most of them were pests. Some of them a little bit may, can be beneficial for you. And I start from a smallest pest and a smallest, not a pet, but pharaon ant. This is Monomorium pharaonis, very tiny ant. Sometimes you can find it somewhere on the wall. I cannot show it even because it's just one millimeter reddish and red color and walking slowly, sometimes creating and making long chains on a wall. And very often these pharaon ants will steal something sweet, like sugar, in your kitchen. So definitely. If you find it, you will not be so happy. You will try to kill all of these ants, well, or at least try to use some traps to catch them. And who, is, who else? Of course, in the kitchen, especially in a rural area, there are a lot of, or sometimes a few, domestic flies. Musca domestica described yet by Linnaeus in 16th century. But still, Musca domestica appeared millions of years ago, but it's a pretty big one. And today, you know, today is December the 1st, and actually 2012, and it's pretty cold outside and it's raining. But inside is pretty warm, but no flies, at least no domestic flies. But, what I told you about million of years, some of flies, during evolution, they created their peculiarity, small size. If you are small, you are practically invisible. So these flies were very tiny and these are fruit flies. If you are trying to peel, for instance, your apple, what you will receive? Definitely you will receive this skin. Well, if you put it somewhere in a jar, after a few minutes, 
but you will see some other pets and small pets they are coming to these skins and these are fruit flies fruit flies or Drosophila melanogaster or some other species very tiny flies of yellowish, reddish or brownish color sometimes they are invisible indeed because they are very tiny from one or two millimeters and they are flying very fast, very quickly you cannot just notice them when I just sit, they sit down somewhere you can see these are very funny tiny flies well, that's Drosophila by the way, Drosophila is very famous now for biologists and all around the world because of Thomas Morgan in 1110 studied genetics and he discovered what? he discovered chromosomes and his work was awarded in 1133 by Nobel Prize in Medicine for identifying chromosomes as a vector of inheritance of genes so, so Drosophila flies they're really really very very useful for biologists even now some biologists they're coming to collect Drosophila everywhere even here in Ukraine where I'm now some Drosophilis, some DNA people they're coming here to Ukraine to collect Drosophila near Kiev or near Uman yes, this is famous genetical locality to collect some Drosophila this is real type locality for some strains of Drosophila to study their genetics well, and whom you can find in your kitchen what else? and whom else? for instance, in the summertime you can find sometimes yellow jackets wasps sometimes they're coming to your kitchen because you're making like it something sweet like a jam okay if you're drinking a tea like me with a jam well be sure some yellow jackets coming because you, the smell they're tasting your smell and trying to steal it steal a little bit jam but originally you should know that all these yellow jackets they are not coming for your food they're coming for something sweet they collect nectar from flowers and most of them they are useful because they can kill some flies which are just flying around and collecting some rubbish and eating some decaying material so these yellow jackets in most cases they are beneficial for you so don't kill them many yellow jackets are coming to your kitchen for instance in a September or in August because these are queens queens of yellow jackets so they're trying to find somewhere hidden place to overwinter so if you kill them kill them all well, that's not a good idea not a good point because yellow jackets they're usually not so aggressive they're not so dangerous for beekeeping or for honeybee because they're, they're usually predators of some caterpillars or small flies they cannot kill usually just honeybee they are just the same size they sometimes only trying to go to beehive and steal honey over there by sitting near beehive and trying to penetrate it and to steal a little bit honey from there so but hornet is a big wasp hornet is a big wasp vespa crabra this is a dangerous for beekeeping because this wasp is a big one three centimeter yes definitely can kill honeybees and make it danger for beekeeping area and beekeepers and who else if I say saying about kitchen you can find whom you can find here some another smallest pets and these pets they are living somewhere in a fabric in some cereals because if you are making like a porridge you can use this stuff so or maybe like this stuff or maybe use flour not a flour not a wood nectar but some flour to make something sweet in, a, in the holidays I thought, oh yes, that's a flower 
Yeah. So in a weekend, you can enjoy life and make something eatable, something pleasant from the flower. But you are not only one owner or just at least possible eater of this food. Some other small pets coming to you, to your kitchen and trying to steal it. And who is this? Well, I must say that these are small beetles. Mostly these are small beetles that are coming here. And these beetles, they're very tiny, very tiny. They will not eat your Lipton tea. They don't like it. Well, but they can eat another tea, for example. If this is your herb tea, for example, if you store your herb tea tree somewhere nearby, not in a closed jar, for example, these small tiny bees, not bees, beetles, drugstore beetle or bread biscuit beetle, stegobium panisum or bacon beetle, Dermestus lapidarius, the all around or small cigarette beetle. Lazioderma sericorni or drugstore beetle, Stehobium panisim, they're all around, they're trying to steal something from your food. Cigarette beetle or tobacco beetle and drugstore beetle, they can eat practically everything, everything, all this stuff, all these cereals, all these seeds, even some drugs or even some raisins or all dry, dried Fruits, they can eat, they enjoy it very much. So try to close them, put them in some jars with very close, roughly closed cover. And these beetles, at least they will not come, they will try to penetrate the jar, but will be uh, out. But another, if you, if you put some of your, if you put some of your flower just or seeds, for a long time, more than one month, for example, sometimes you can find some worms inside. And these worms are well, not pleasant, yes, because they're making kind of a net mesh, and you think it's, it's eatable, and it was eaten by someone. And these are larvae of Indian moth. This moth, pretty big one, up to 6-7 millimeters, and great. And, reprodu and the reproduction is very fast. So larvae of these Indian moth, moth will be inside your flower or these cereals. Also try to put it in closed jars. And whom else you can find? Of course, you can find some in other arthropods, which can be a little beneficial. Oh yes, I forgot about the most common, the commonest pest in the kitchen, as you say. Who is this? And this is cockroach. This is oriental cockroach or German cockroach. German cockroach is a very small, about 10, centim 10 millimeters, not centimeters, and oriental cockroach is a bigger one, about 2-3 centimeters. And these cockroaches they are not present in this kitchen, by the way. They are quite common in some restaurants and cafeterium, which are not so clean, by the way, so try to avoid them. But what do they do there? Yes, they are searching for food. They are searching for every food around. For every food around. They can eat fruits, they can eat cereals, they can eat bread, they can eat flour, they can eat practically everything especially some decaying organic materials. That's why do not remain organic materials, fruits or anything else like a meat in your kitchen. So that's because cockroaches will are coming and eating and reproducing here any huge numbers. Definitely it will not be pleasant, it will be a very nasty situation for you and maybe for your visitors, for your friends can come to your kitchen, to your coffee room, or to your restaurant. Sometimes they are present in some shops. It looks awful indeed. After first visit you will avoid this part of the shop. Definitely.
definitely because it's nasty place. You will come obviously to another clean and nice shop. Or at least maybe till this shop will make reparation and make pest control. So cockroaches will, gone, will be gone and disappear in such place. For cockroaches, this always you need to take care and you have to use pest control to buy drugs or maybe some pesticide and chemicals to spray them when nobody, no human beings, no food inside your kitchen or your restaurant or your food store and just kill them and avoid them. But some this oriental cockroach sometimes come into your kitchen or through your drainage system or through your sewage sometimes because oriental cockroach in, enjoy some not a dry places but some wet places like your washroom so that's why oriental cockroaches keeping themselves there they're hiding there but i will tell you a story that in your washroom you can find predator of a cockroach that's slightly useful arthropods because this is centipede centipede this is like a very strange animal with a many 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 legs very narrow many legs it looks like a spider and it's quite frustrating if you will find it at the first time and everyone usually try to kill this centipede well but this centipede was a very tiny about 20 millimeters and with very narrow legs do not kill it because centipede not eating your food centipede is predator eating every one tiny arthropod in your washroom or maybe in your toilet so and another one another beneficial arthropod this is spiders this is spider with smallest biggest domestic spiders that live in somewhere in your corners or just behind your flowers somewhere or in your corners as I said they are eating other arthropods, they are eating cockroaches, they are eating flies, they are eating everyone who is just running around. So they are beneficial for you. Do not kill spiders in your house and in your kitchen. Maybe if you can clean your corners and just take, take them and put them out. Do not kill them. Now, for instance, I didn't mention silverfish. Silverfish is very common near your window, for instance, or again in your washroom. Silverfish, very tiny insect. I will write the names down near my video. Silverfish eating also different organic materials, but for example, you can find it near the window because silverfish, very tiny insects covered by small, not the hairs, but like small tiny pots and with silver color eating different decaying material or can eat paper and glue can eat anything tiny small organic material around Somet but sometimes silver fish with tiny insects they damage books in the library they can damage some painting in around that's why if there are a lot of them, it's better to make pest control against these insects. So, these are different pests which you can find here, for instance, in a kitchen. But also, I didn't mention two tiny hymenoptera wasps. Definitely, I must mention them. Tiny hymenoptera wasp, Pteromalus and Pteromalidae wasp and some tiny Braconidae wasp. Braconidae wasp is attacking Indian millwall moth and Pteromalidae wasp attacking these beetles, tiny carpet beetles and Stehobium paniseum drugstore beetles. If you keep some herbs, for example, in packages, all these herbs will be eaten up to a certain time by drugstore beetles and definitely but don't be afraid because they will make here a lot of holes they will escape they will are hatching very quickly and you will see all these 
rockstar beetles on you on a glass in your window but sometimes you will see small tiny like flies like wasps they're black colored and they're moving slowly they're not so fast like drosophila fruit flies and these are pteromonid calcid wasps they their larvae developing on a larva of these beetles cigarette beetles or drugstore beetles and they're eating them and reduce their population definitely you still will not be happy because all your herbs some of your plants have been destroyed but still they reduce the population or sometimes braconidium was they can be imaging from your cereals together with indian moth and if you put it in a glass jar after a certain time no indian moth will be coming only some braconidium was will come outside so because they parasitized all larvae of Indian moth so and the, the population of Indian moth declines very quickly so no Indian moth will be in your cereals so that's why better do not destroy it immediately or put it somewhere out of your house together with natural parasitoids as well as with natural predators like centipede and spiders so that's a story for today about kitchen about pets, about toys, and about different pets whom you can find in your kitchen or near kitchen in your food store. Be careful about them, try to avoid them, put your food in a careful store, and take care. And let's see you in my next video. And good luck. See you soon. Good luck.